In this short video, I'm gonna show you how I scaled my content creation and distribution from under about 10 pieces of content per week to now where I'm almost publishing 60 pieces of content per week. And it wasn't until I figured out this one thing that I was able to solve it. Even after building this content machine, which helped me store all my content with a unique ID and a distribution system that allowed me to keep track of all the content I was publishing across all these platforms, even with all that organization, I was running into bottlenecks. You see, when you're creating, repurposing, and distributing this much content, there's so much content, there's copy, there's there's images, there's videos, and they all have different publish dates, it's very easy to get overwhelmed with all that content, especially if you have multiple team members that are involved. Who's supposed to be writing what? Who's creating what images? Who's editing what videos? Who's doing all that approval? And in what order is it getting done? I did create the filters as well to keep track of all the video, who was working on what and at what status it was in, and also the publish date for media, design, and the copy. But something still wasn't clicking for the entire team. You see, I have one person on my team who's supposed to man the machine, and they're the one that's responsible for making sure that all the content is categorized, scheduled, and any of the team members that are involved know what they need to do by when. And it wasn't until we got super organized and really sat down and defined our content schedule and the desired output of how much content we wanted to create. We wanted to create a lot of content, but we weren't specific on how much content and on what channels we wanted to create that content. So we got really granular with the specific channels and how much content on a per day basis we were gonna be publishing and then got those totals. And then we got the total across all the different channels and the daily totals. And then we mapped out our schedules in terms of what we needed to do on specific days and how our two schedules intertwined with each other. And then I actually built the graphs to help us track it. It was Peter F. Drucker who famously said, if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. So what we did is define it and then we started to measure it. And luckily I did have the content system to help me manage and keep track of all the content and literally keep track of every single piece of content that was distributed with these distributed IDs across every single platform because that's what gave me the ability to track all of the content that's being created and distributed across all the different channels. I can see all of the content that I'm distributing per week and that actively lets me improve it and you can see the results but even after I had that output graph it was still hard to improve so I went even deeper and made these metrics here that are easily seen by my team somebody can easily walk in on any given day and see how much content is scheduled for that given week they can see how much content is actually approved what is the media status of all the content does it need editing does it need QC and what about design and what status is all of the copy in using these metrics we can see what is ready and what is not ready for the given week and then when it comes down to the wire for tomorrow, how much is scheduled for tomorrow, what is ready. And then we have these cool graphs so we can see how is the content going to be published over the next few days. We can pinpoint per brand where the content deficiency is. And then Aaron, who mans the machine, can go and find that content and make sure it gets done. But we can always come in and make sure that content goes out the door across all of our channels. And that's really how we were able to achieve this dramatic change in our content output. And the best thing about that is that I've gotten to a point now where the more content I create, the more money I make. So when I I see stuff like this, I know we're headed in the right direction. So if you really want to scale up your content creation, you want to make sure that you're able to measure everything that you're doing from content creation to distribution, what is not ready to publish, and then you'll be able to achieve results like this. So if you found this video valuable, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. That helps me out a lot and it shows me what type of content you want to see next. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.